would be a great opportunity with the conditions the way they are to have a little talk about forest management. As you can see, everything is totally dry. This is me. Look at this. This is me trying to manage my forest. As you can see, you can see the tree here. You can see the tree here from the ground up as far as I can reach. I have removed the sap limbs. Now I've been doing that while I'm trying to clean up the ground as much as possible. Here's another one. Doesn't hurt the tree. It actually helps the tree with its growth. So, before I came and started this, this is what an unmanaged forest would look like from years of deadfalls from the pine, dead beetle pine and wind and raw and all kinds of conditions, heavy snow, different things. So this is again fuel for the fire. Like these root balls, they can be down in the ground. They will smolder for weeks. We've actually had some fires that occurred last July that smoldered right into May of this year, even through the snow. And you'll recall one of my videos where I showed you that. So why is this important, you ask? Let's demonstrate. Pine tree. You see how the limbs go? This is what typically happens. This ground can catch on fire. This brittle tinder right here. So this is going to take off. When that catches, it burns like a grass fire, which we all have seen. What makes it worse is when it catches the bottom of these trees from the bottom up. These are the sap holding trees. You can hear that this is really, really, really dry also. Great fire started, right? In one way and another way. It's not so great. Mostly fat wood in here and sap. Lots of sap. You can see on this tree where it's bled. You know, over time. And uh, all the lichen. So what happens is this is really flammable. This is like insane. Now, it'll burn the bottom. And if it's not windy, you know, it might just pass through. But the problem is... Once it hooks this, and depending on how dry everything is, and the conditions, the weather, it'll cause the possibility of the tree candling. And how far the tree candles will affect the intensity of the fire. And there's different stages from the flames. And I'll put a little uh, diagram in of how severe the fire is. Smoke from this fire that you see up here, like it's hard to see, is over 300 kilometers away. Imagine that. And it's not really very windy out. 
is starting to drop from the ceiling down. I actually had ash on my vehicle last night. This time you see someone limb in a tree, this might be the reason. Unless... You can see if Sasquatch or the zombies are coming.